Well, Adam, many are shocked, saddened, and disappointed by the reports of yet another mass shooting. Locals tell me they feel mentally and emotionally strained after having gone through a similar nightmare. Every day you're hearing about someone being killed by gun violence. Just four weeks ago, a similar story unfolded on the streets of Dayton. The same event with a different name. I, these tragedies are happening all over the country, and we're not doing anything about it, so they're just going to happen again. And it takes, on average, about three days for people to forget about a mass shooting. But for many in Dayton, thoughts of the last mass shooting haven't faded. Mayor Nan Whaley tweeted that for those in Dayton, news of the shooting might be especially hard to take. She says this is normal and encourages people to talk to someone who can help. In the Oregon District, 77-year-old Berta Lambert was passing out pro-gun control buttons when he heard about the Texas shooting. And hopefully in the long run, we'll develop a culture where having a gun is not acceptable, uh, somewhat like cigarettes. But he and his partner say they were still met with opposition. There's still people that walked down today that were like, I love guns. Everybody needs guns. As the number of shootings increases, many wonder, where do we go from here? Dayton, as we know, is the 250th shooting of the year. And now we're having even more shootings. And if Dayton wasn't enough and Odessa isn't enough, then when is enough? Now, the city shared with me some resources for mental health in the aftermath of these tragedies. Aaliyah Williams and 2 News working for you. For more reaction and the latest updates on the Texas shooting, head to our website, WDTN.com.